Take a place like San Diego that I like to call Man Diego. Tons of military there. You got the Marines, you got Navy, you got all sorts of military. Um, it's one of the worst, well that's kind of LA, San Diego in one, but it's one of the worst marketplaces for men. So this graph illustrates cities where there's way more females. So like New York City, best place in, uh, in America if you want to live and have, you know, just easy pickings. Girls will approach you in New York City. The first time I ever went there, I watched a girl walk up to a group of three guys and be like, hey, um, my friends are over here at the bar. Is it cool if you like, come talk to us? We'll buy you drinks. My mind was blown. <laughs> I grew up in Orange County. I went to school in San Diego. Then I moved to LA. That never happened. I, I literally walked up to her because I'm used to approaching girls and, you know, the opposite. I was like, did, did you just offer those guys drinks to talk to you? And she's like, yeah, so? I'm like, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just completely like shocked. That would never happen in Southern California because of this single determining factor, which is the ratio. The ratio is everything. So every year I take clients to Eastern Europe and we cruise around Budapest, Belgrade, Serbia. We go to Kiev and Odessa, Ukraine. And why do we go there? Because the ratio is insane. It's like 120 women to 100 guys in the big cities. And yeah, the girls are beautiful and hot and everything, but you can find beautiful women anywhere. But the ratio makes such a big difference. So, you know, if you guys are living in some of these, you know, Menver, for example, <laughs> rough place to live, Man Diego, San Francisco, don't even get me started. <laughs> it's brutal. It's fucking brutal. But if you move to some of these other places, like I think the Raleigh Durham, um, a lot of the schools like right in North Carolina, um, uh, Char uh, no Charleston, it's just all girls. You go to those universities and it's just insane. You go to a party and it's like three to one girls to guys. You're gonna do well. <laughs> it doesn't matter what else is going on because you're a hot commodity, you're a scarce resource. So, let's talk about Europe. Uh, this graph shows the man drought in Europe. So this line here, the 50% the line, means there's more men than women in that city. So if you look at Oslo, that's slightly more men than women. Amsterdam is very close. But then if you go down to Warsaw, Poland, great ratio for guys. Vilnius. Vilnius, I've never been there. I forget where that is, somewhere in Eastern Europe, I think. Uh, and then Riga, Latvia. Look at that. It's 45 point something percent men and 55 percent women. That's, that doesn't seem like a lot, but that's insane. That's a huge difference. In Eastern Europe, they have what uh, they call face control. There's so many women lined up to go to nightclubs that they're turning them away. And if they're not gorgeous, they say, we have face control. You have ugly face, you do not come in because you do not spend money. If you're a dude, <laughs> you're actually supporting the bar or the club, you're spending money, they'll let you walk right in. You know, you don't got to buy a bottle, you don't have to show up with girls like you have to do in LA. You walk up to a nightclub in LA, you don't have girls and you're not buying a bottle, you're not getting in. Forget it. Unless you know the promoter or you know the door guy. But you go to Eastern Europe, Please come, bring all of your bros. We have 20,000 girls inside and no one to buy them drinks. So really think about where you live. If you live somewhere that sucks, it's going to be really difficult, not because of you know, even anything you can do. It's just brutal because the ratio sucks. Very important. Conversation skills.